It's apple and cinnamon soda. I know, I disappoint myself too. I can't believe it got they got me with their limited time only BS. No, 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 they, did, they didn't get you at all. I just wanted you to buy her a fucking drink because you wouldn't do it yourself. Yes, thank you. Let's try some right now. As she opens again and takes a sip. Well, any good? You can have the rest. <laughs> that is, okay, so for any guys that don't know what that whole sentence right there means, you can have the rest means it tastes fucking awful, but I don't want to waste it. Um, it's so it's gross too. That's just great. It tastes like what nail polish smells like. And what a waste of money. Gross. Not at all. My curiosity is sedated. Chemical burn on my tongue aside. I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. Do you want to return? Oh, fuck off. Jesus fucking Christ. That's enough of that. I mean, if you go to a bar and a dude buys you a drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? Like, okay, so we confirmed he's a ladies' man and she's allegedly a virgin. Cool. She's just very crass. Which bar is this? I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I doubt the bar browsing bitches are very... Oh, virginal. I'm like, a very vaginal. I'm like, that's a fucking expression. I don't know. Damn. How judgmental of you. She takes another sip of the soda. Ugh, that's nasty. Now I had to finish it, just throw it out. Never, it was a gift. Oh man, that's also, that's also just appreciation. All right, now that I've done that, let's see. It's supposed to be like a door here? Oh, what do you know there is? Oh, wait, hold the door please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> oh yeah, there's 666 up on the wall. Curse you brats. Okay, so he's gone up. Mixed waste. You would think by now they'd be like used to like taking stuff at my waste. Maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. Yeah, I kind of feel like that might be the go. What's in here? What's this? Stuff only it says and it's locked. Cool. Exactly point that seems to double as a smoking area. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, the fuck is that container? Asking for a passcode. Well, I'm gonna go a 666. Even that'll be the 333 that I got for the money. Because, you know, it's on the wall. Elevator arrives. Of course. Yep. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Done fucked up. <laughs> Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? The private event, Shoo Shoo. Hmm. He reckons it's this, isn't it? If I say sorry I got lost, I reckon they're going to kill me or I'm not going to find out. It's obviously Sex and Demons Party. Oh man, if he if he gets laid, she's going to be pissed. So this the Demon's Sex Party. What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. What a dick. <laughs> no, there's no, there is no demon sex party. Oh, well, just a regular demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but listen, who the hell invited you? Not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. Can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? This just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing I never was part of these guys' little club. Wow, that was not productive. Maybe I should have said I was in the wrong place. Maybe I would have got kidnapped or something. Pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. These guys can actually summon demons, so I mean, our neighbor managed to eventually, but decide you should get inside somehow and find out... Okay. Is there like, is there a cloth or something? Oh, what do I care those clowns are up to anyway? Okay. Decide that if a wait forward doesn't strike you before you're done, you smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got an employee key. Ooh, blue door. All right. 
Ooh, food. Food. That's a trap and a half. Hmm. What's in this bin? Couple note in the trash that reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. <laughs> oh man. What about the coffee pot? Rich, someone has left a note. It reads, Whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. The office life. Same shit, different toilet. Yeah. Top layer is full of cakes. Lower has some paper cups. Okay. What about this one? On the cart sits plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. Grim, we got you some coffee. The cakes is a bit late for work meeting. Look, it's... The game has coffee, therefore it's got Grim's seal of approval. The elevator is coming up. Uh, okay. Um, I should probably hide. One won't work with our swipe tag, okay. What about the curtains? Drab a set of drapery you have ever laid your eyes on. Nice. Um, guessing if that's coming up, I, I don't know how long I've got to, like, hide, potentially. Is there anywhere I can hide in here? I don't want to go back downstairs. Wait, wait, hold on. Can I walk in here? No. There's a door. You hide inside the cleaning closet. Mm. Oh, this is going to take two trips. Trembling as he goes, the culture takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Cool. So, can I use drapes as a cloth thing? Put down one of the curtains? A curtain. Well, there we fucking go. Can I... Get the paper cups from the cart. I don't want paper cups. Make yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. What happened to the cups, though? Hmm. Coles hastily shoves a piece of cake in his mouth. Oh, man. He's happy. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. Oh, it must be some fucking devil cake. Let's see. Cart's doing to the elevator. How's this cart so much heavier than the other? Guess could it be the weight of my sins? No! <laughs> Dude's funny. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's been me and the devil. Just act normal. <laughs> oh my god. What's that? Shh. <laughs> I can't see anything from here. Maybe keep the cloth on or something. It might be a good idea. That coffee. Can I make coffee? Oh, swanky beard. Ahem. Well then, everyone, the rit ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Ugh, music. Ugh. Show yourself, <laughs> Lord Unknown. Ah, oh, they're kind of dancing. This is such fun. Look, at least they're having fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. So nobody's allowed to know his name, perhaps? But it's the 6FU Club. Cultists keep calling to Lord Unknown for a while. And it's becoming increasingly clear that nothing is going to show up. Yeah, they don't have any fucking candles. Obviously. Right, not in the right place as well. Look at this amateur hour. Free coffee, sign me up. I know, right? Fucking terrible music. Good cake. Coffee. Party. Mm, it's not that bad. It's no worse than any nightclub I've ever fucking seen. Wow, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something in her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? Yeah, these guys are probably too pure. I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I brought the carts down. But someone stole one of the cakes, I don't know who. Is he going to pin this blame on me? Well, we can have some now. Look, I'm counting up those cakes right now, and there's at least two for everybody present, okay? Not even an issue, right? Sigh. Yes, please enjoy yourselves. Like, dude knows how to throw a party. There's, like, candles, there's music, food, drinks. Everybody's having a good time. What? Where are your robes? Sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. Like, does he even know what his cult members look like, though? Uh, are we going to get robes? Now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. Okay. I like how only that guy possibly knows that I was kicked out, maybe. He's too busy eating cake to care. Can I get cake? Oh. 
I want a cake. Wow, someone who is underdressed. Fucking calm down, mate. I, I did the best I could. She asked ask herself for milk for the coffee instead of cream. Is that not how coffee is offered? Am I out of the loop on coffee offerings? Also, the beer, they still taste like piss. I didn't see any beer. Not that I've ever drank piss. Dude's fucking revealing himself right there. Well, say something. Mmm. I'm gonna say I kind of want to push the converse but he is missing Ashley but if I say nothing maybe I won't learn anything converse where did you hear about this gathering in the first place the Oculet magazine I'm subscribed to Hannah there we go it is the toilet magazines <laughs> fucking hell yeah, it's been at that all the time. I figured I was going to... I was if it was going to be lame, but thought I'd come check it out since I don't live too far away. About you. The same. Anyway, i got to go. It's nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. All right. Could you imagine if I walk over here and I summon the fucking demon? Is this the beer? Yeah, it looks like it. No service right now. Probably because this dude's up here, like, full-on fucking partying. Can I come up here? Can I come up on stage? Hey, mate. <laughs> I'm on stage. Isn't that the standard reaction? Okay, if anybody that, like, is at a location and there's a stage, is that not the standard reaction to just, like, get up on a stage and be like, <laughs> I'm up here? Because <laughs> that's actually my reaction. <laughs> like, so long as it's not, like, that I'm required on stage at that particular time, so long as, like, it's just, like, nobody gives two fucks, it's fun. <laughs> it's like I'm famous. <laughs> She just begins singing. People starting. Is it people are staring time to get out of here? Yeah. Let's turn the music off. See what happens. No. I. The music isn't too bad at the moment. It's actually okay. It should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. Are you the dude that already had one? Yeah, there's enough for two each at least, mate. I don't stress about it. Can I get. Oh, I can't get out of here. Um, hold up. Can I go this way? Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. It's these guys. Um, coat rack. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, fuck. I went too far. Didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, uh, no. Look, man, you're running up the whole vibe with that get up. Yeah, can't you come here in here dressed like that again? The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Mm, good. Just don't let this happen again. I wanted to get a robe from behind the thing or rummage in this shit. I could have got money. Have a good night. I expect I could have got money. Let's go quickly check on Ashley. Fucking, yeah, she's still there. All right, save that. All right. Ah, oh, get out of there. At least, yeah, at least they were pretty alright. They were just, they didn't get to watch the summoning that didn't even happen. Like, they, they failed at the summoning. Are you done snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. Um, but they can't summon for ship. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was like a vision for sure. There was like, you hear a car. Oh, here we go. Oh, that looks like the cunt that killed me. It's, that's him. That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream. Yikes. He really just went in our rooms just like that. He still doubted me? Where'd he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff's still in there. What stuff? We sold most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. Yeah, that's true. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. The new one sucks. Ugh. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. Really? Scoff, you know nothing of my troubles. Fuck an oath. Bra's got to be worn in. Regardless, I think I have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down. So even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... 
<sighs> and why is he still in our room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're getting food or something. So now he's probably awaiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like I'm in my vision again. And you know this how? I know this because that's what I'd do, duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought through these things. Really? Really? I thought these things through? I question not why she's thought about such things. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, honestly, mate. Now, enough dilly-daddling. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. And then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? Sigh. Look, it's time for Andrew to kill somebody again. Wait, I'm still Andrew. Okay. Uh, Andrew doesn't have the gun, though. She does. All right, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Look, I didn't even save before this. This is how much of a choice this is. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. I mean, maybe. Which is why, if I may add, was also your idea. It was, I was 12. You should have stopped me. She would have been, what, 10? No, she was she was 12. He would have been 14. Yeah, fair. <laughs> you should. I talk you out of this one or... No, shut up and follow my lead. Okay, back to Ashley. Okay. Okay. I reckon... Cupboard. I'm going to step forth to kill you yet. Oh my gosh, Shirley Andrew. I just realized that impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. <laughs> oh, I love her. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. <laughs> and since we want to be, oh, so quick about it. Let's take a shortcut through the park. <laughs> we may frolic like amongst the Oh, I can't. Give me a second. <laughs> well, we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. So I fucking can't. <laughs> My reaction to Andrew. <laughs> How's that sound, huh? <laughs> Terrific. Let's go. <laughs> Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with the hip man around, would you like to save the game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Oh my. Okay. Let me get in here. He's done in the bathroom. Let me grab my washing. I wash the laundry. You know what? I did try to send Andrew in for this earlier. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I reckon he's in the cupboard. When the door opened for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting out some fresh air and the sounds of the city. I'm letting in some, huh? Look. I'm not surprised. They probably kept that window open the entire time. Uh, I mean, shut the entire time. Hurry up and get your things already. Ari did. Okay. All right. Oh, man. So the, my only hope is that she still has a fucking gun. That's all I hope. All right. Hold up. Can I? Is, is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Yeah, I was going to see if I could hide in some bushes. There is a, there's a thing here. What's this? Ben and shopping cart. Very classy. Yeah. Park trash. All right. So there's a spot up. If I can get out of there. Thank you. There's a spot up here. All right. I don't really consider that much attempt. With several has been made to place trash where it belongs. So close. They were all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Yeah, from the seat. I also noticed that there's a little spot up here. Oh, here, this tree will hide us nicely. You sure about that? What are we going to do if he just stays in the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh, what a pain. Can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note, Oh, 
Is she really gonna make him? Not it. You're making me do it again? Is she really wants him to be like fucking incriminated beyond belief. Dude only has a knife. You got this. Why can't she shoot it? I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait, I never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. You can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know you know where he is. Crap, did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to. I bet all this looks suspicious as hell. Doesn't look like anything. You shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Oh, you Oh, no. Um. Is it? Is she the big... Um. Then, I don't know. That sets a fucking phrase right there. You dirty boy. No. We can't do it here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go, off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. <laughs> this poor bloke. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. Did not like her. That's all right. I like both of them, honestly. I don't blame him. Yeah. Oh, man. Ah, uh, Mandrakin. Okay. All right. Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and Ashley. All right. I saved it before this whole situation, so um, I don't want to save over that. Might save over the one where we got into like part two. Is there stuff before that that I'd like to like redo if I could? Okay. Actually, what does Andrew have on him? Cleaver, lighter, and play key and a gun. Okay. Interesting. I like the separate inventory. Okay, she was like down here somewhere, right? Oh, wait. A thing. Oh wait, I gotta look around. Oh shit, what I find? Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute shh? I didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on your shoo shoo leave? Yeah, good point. Good point. Good point. Right up in here. What? Ah. Uh... Interesting. Okay. I got that. Did. See, he just did. I figured there was two choices and one equaled me dying. Like, shoot versus shoot, exclamation mark. Shoot, like, exclamation mark sounds like I'm fucked up. So that's why I went with what I did. Did I... Is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Hee <laughs> hee. I knew you had it in you. Poor guy. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. The way she treats him... Like, I'm... Not surprised if he just snaps sometime and fucking kills her. I really don't. I'm not surprised. Let's get going before somebody comes to see what's up. Well then, we could just shoot them too. Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, and what was that? What the fuck was that? What was what? You're running off out of the blue. What, you needed an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes? Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. She's something. And what if it was in the bushes you ran off to, huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. Ugh. Quit your bitching, it all worked out. Clue me in next time you have these genius ideas, so I can tell you off. <laughs> Ashley. Okay. Oh, that worked. Save that. That was lucky. Has he got anything? Do we just leave him here? Yeah, sure. Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's going to have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, whatever. Let's just go before somebody walks in. Walks their dog or something. 
Got car keys. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Has he? Have you? Yeah. Okay, well, this explains a lot more, actually, about him not wanting to, like, touch shit. Ugh, motherfucker, what for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling the course. And actually, now that I think about it, I think that is accurate, actually. Um, might just be an Australian thing, but I'm pretty sure we take fingerprints for shit, you know? Interesting. Kind of forgot about that after so many fucking years. Let's take your car. Let's vroom, vroom the fuck out of here. Um, there's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable ones read... Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. Extremely grateful for you have accepted to clean our laundry for us. We're confident in your services that you will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us if anyone asks where to ask. The less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all our new soda flavors from the sister company. Happy washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. Yikes. Yeah. What's in the back here? Uh, take the car and go. Not yet, not yet. There's stuff in the back. How do I get in the back? Did I go? Ah, uh, okay. Tricky. Newspaper cutouts of various incidents. Most of them are about your old apartment are both tainted with water and fire situation. Okay. There's also an article from last week about the same chemical leak in another city. Someone has scribbled the words same shit in the corner. Okay. So, meditate mindlessly, sit on top of your car seat. Ah, good old magazines. Alright, so I guess now we take this. Yeah, let's vroom vroom out of here. <laughs> so where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got, a, got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. Barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mums. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewellery from Grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I'm sure... But I sure can. Oh, man even want to steal they need money to keep going at the moment they i don't think they could enlist for a job because that would put their names down and they'd have to get paid probably electronically he's got money but he can't access it in his bank account because it will say where he is um and they're currently trying to hide from the government and stuff no um i think he's 22 and she's 20 i think I think that's what the game said. Um, so yeah, there's times where it shows them like having flashbacks to their childhood, which I think must be around about 12 and 14. But yeah, as far as I can tell, like, cause initially when I first saw them, I thought they were twins. I thought they were like same. Um, but it does seem he's a couple of years older. Um, yeah, that's kind of where it is. I uh, know we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume that the guy took care of us and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Like, he's smart. So it will be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them and get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just go rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyways? No place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. I really figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. The great screen player got to run. No worries, Mirthless. Thanks for hanging out. Um, 
Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Oh yeah, if you don't drive a car like within like a few months of like the last time you drove it, it's real weird. It's so weird to fucking drive again. You gotta like remember so fucking much. We'll be fine. Just don't distract me with anything. <laughs> She's a distraction on her own. Come on. Look at the two of them. They're fucking both distracting. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah. Not even, not even taking off and she's already got the feet up on the dashboard. 